When Tracy got this job, I knew that this program was going to go places because he has the background, he has the desire, and you can tell by his talk that he takes a lot of pride in the young men that are here. And I'll be honest with you, how things have changed with Valpo University baseball in the last 15 to 20 years. Because when I was a senior in high school, and I know that was many moons ago, I mean, Valpo really wasn't a place on the map that I, I think a kid locally really wanted to consider. Um, and I think where this program is going now, I can just tell the difference because this is the, the third time I've been here to the banquet. And you could just tell by the enthusiasm in the room here and the players that Tracy is trying to bring in that he wants, one, good athletes. There's no question about that because you do like to win. But I think bringing in good kids. And you look at where this university, this program is going now. They're going to Florida for, I believe, two weeks this year, making a commitment to going, recruiting out in California to make sure that he makes a swing or tries to make it. And you have to really appreciate the university from the athletic director to the president, they're willing to let this program go and grow because it is, it is so important to get kids here to come to Valparaiso. You're kind of behind the eight ball with the warm weather climates. Everybody wants to go play baseball in Florida, California, Georgia, North Carolina like Tracy and I did. And you, and you really have to do something a little bit extra special to get kids to want to come here and play. And one of the things that Tracy brings right off the get-go is instant credibility. Played on a world champion team, championship team with the Los Angeles Dodgers. He's been to the big leagues. He's been there. He's done it. He knows what it takes. But the reality of it in this room, for the high school recruits that are here, for the guys that are playing now, it's an awfully tough thing to get to that next level. To get drafted is one thing, and then to make it, you know, it's very, very difficult. And I think one of the things that Tracy's doing right now that is so good, and I think you should be proud of what you're doing here with this program, is you're getting Valparaiso University baseball on the map now. And that's the first step. And then I think when you do go down and you beat some of those teams in Mississippi or in the Atlantic Coast Conference or the Southeast Conference, because a lot of times the teams in the South, when Valparaiso is going to go down, I know when we were at NC State, and some of the northern schools would come down. It would almost be like, wow, you know what? Valparaiso's coming down. Or even at that time, Notre Dame was coming down to North Carolina. That was like, you're going to play four games. Well, we're going to be 4-0. Oh, they haven't been outside yet. They're coming right into our den. But I will say this. I, I think it's, it, what Tracy's trying to do, the only way that this program is going to get better is you're going to have to bring better kids in. And you're already on the right direction as far as playing some competition that's going to get this school on the map. And I know predictions of being fourth place this year. When I was working out here in 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002, you know, there, there wasn't as far as as much energy generated towards this baseball program like there is now. It's getting good. It's going to continue to get better. And I think with Tracy running this, I think you're going to see this program really start to take off.